Now, many American seniors have relied on their homes and reverse mortgages to finance their retirement. But now those loans are under criticism, despite a steady stream of TV commercials making the pitch for them. Regulators are looking into new rules to protect consumers. Diana Olick has details. It used to be that a home was like a savings account, gaining value as you slowly paid down the mortgage. You could sell it to fund your retirement or take out a reverse mortgage, which the pitchman makes sound so easy. Payments. Have the money to pay some bills or simply enjoy your retirement more. The product was introduced about 25 years ago for those at least 62 years old. The reverse mortgage provides patient money. It's money that waits to get paid back until you permanently leave the home. There are no monthly payments other than taxes and insurance. Interest and fees are all piled into the mortgage itself. Upon the homeowner's death, the home is sold with the proceeds going to the lender. It sounds good that you could live here without, wouldn't have to make any more mortgage payments. Robert Bennett and his wife Ophelia took out a reverse mortgage at the end of 2008 to pay off their current mortgage and relieve them of monthly payments. Ophelia, who was 10 years older than Robert, died shortly thereafter. Hers was the only name on the mortgage. In the case of some couples, they make a decision up front to remove one member of the couple from title in order to get more money or in order to qualify for the mortgage. Bennett says the lender told him he could be added to the mortgage after his wife's death, but that was not the case. In order to stay, he would have to pay back $300,000 to the lender, but the home is now worth half that. They put it in foreclosure. But experts say retirees like the Bennetts never should have been in a reverse mortgage in the first place. This was originally was contemplated as something that you could draw uh, money over a long period of time uh, as a way of supplementing your income or providing income where you had no others. Uh, now I think a lot of people are looking to reverse mortgages as a quick fix. The trouble today is more seniors are entering retirement with less savings, less home equity and more debt. Exactly the wrong combination for a reverse mortgage. If the reverse mortgage is a quick fix, it may not be the thing you're looking for. Bennett is fighting the foreclosure but knows he could lose his home. It's like a foundation for the family. The reverse of what he was trying to do when he agreed to the mortgage. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Annapolis, Maryland.